guys, 7th here. Hey guys, 8th here. And uh, this is Batman 2, DC Superheroes for the PS3. And we are going to go for the plat and then just kind of mess around and have a little fun. So, wish us luck. Uh, let's see here. 100%, we're going to load this sucker up. Are you ready, 8th? Yes, I am. Alright, well let's get it going then. Uh, let's go. Oh, here's our newscaster. Do you think the games are funnier now that the characters actually speak, Eighth, or do you think they were funnier when they just made weird noises and stuff? I think they were funnier when they made weird noises. So you don't you don't like the scripted stuff? I mean, I like it. I just don't think it's as funny as the old one. Oh, okay. Well, to each of their own, I guess. I thought it added a good element to it, but I think it worked better without... I don't, I don't know if it would have worked as well with some of their older games, like the Indiana Jones stuff. I do find it interesting watching the preview for uh, Lord of the Rings that it appears to not only use the music but also uh, the actual dialogue from the movie. So I'm curious to see how that turns out. That's going to be interesting. But anyway, let's get it going here. I like that it uses the original music from the first Batman movie. Yeah, I know. It really, it, it really kind of gives it a cool feel. I especially like how... Uh, it uses the Superman movie music whenever you're flying, because yeah. anyone that's been watching me for a while knows that I'm a huge, huge fan of the John Williams score for uh, the Superman movies. So uh, every time I jump up in the air and start flying around, I get a big kick out of that. But anyway, uh, do you remember how to do this? I, I can't remember how we did this the first time. Um, um, I think you're supposed to destroy the arms or something to that nature. Oh, uh, there's a gold brick. There's a gold brick thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember now. Yeah. I remember now. Alright, well, let me, uh, let me see if I can get switched over to Batman here. Here we go. Electricity suit. Okay, I don't know if I can just get in this guy's hand here. Come on. There we go. It's trying to crush us. Oh, no. Here we go. That's the ticket. Okay, so now I just... Let's see, I think I gotta go over and... And, uh... Bat cable those things there. Let me see. Yeah, get yeah. those bad guys off me. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Axe. Yes, there we go. Alright, so one arm down. Oh, wait. Somebody with superpowers needs to go up there. Yeah. Check it out, 8th. You're a woman. <laughs> you're a woman, 8th. Who cares? It's Legos. Alright, alright. Sorry. Uh, looks like you dehinged his jaw there, 8th. He's not happy about it. Oh, green stuff. I get to use Green Lantern. Alright, let me switch over to the green one here. Alright. What are we going to make? Oh, it's a plunger! Already showing more potential than the movie. Alright, somebody switch to someone with a laser eye. Joker's jaw kind of looks like Little Nicky. <laughs> Little Nicky? That's an old reference, eh? You know, there's a lot of people that didn't like that movie. I think it's hilarious you're nine years old and you think that's a fantastic flick. Which I, I like it too. It's one of my guilty pleasures, but still... <laughs> Kind of threw me off to hear you make a reference to that flick. Jesus, God. That makes me feel old. Of course, I am old. Shit. Oh, you're going to laugh at that, are you? <laughs> yeah, you think it's funny your old man's old, don't you? What? It, it's yourself making fun of you, so... Oh, okay. Well, it's, it's still nice that you would agree with my, you know, uh, self-insulting ways. My self-deprecation, so to speak. That'll be a new word for you to use in vocabulary next year, you know, self-deprecation. That means to uh, intentionally insult yourself. Um, I'm not going to be using that word anytime soon. No. Oh, okay, yeah. You've got too much of an ego to insult yourself, don't you, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you think your doo-doo don't stink. I know how you are. Shut up. Alright, 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 back to this. Look, he, he, he's leaking green stuff. He has green blood! Just like the Hulk. 
Um, does the Hulk have green blood? I would have gone with a Spock reference there. But you're not a huge fan of Star Trek, though, so... You don't like... You think Star Wars is better, don't you? Yeah. E even, uh, even Jar Jar? He's just annoying. Oh, okay. Alright, so let's kick the shit out of... Oh, sorry, I got my kid here. Let's kick the crap out of the Joker. I like the other one better. No, you're nine years old. You're not allowed to use those kind of... That's a grown-up word. Okay. Alright. I have to be some kind of a parent, and that's where I draw the line. No curse words from you until you're at least... 12. Uh, 12 is fair. I was cursing at 12. You Just know, don't curse your teachers. You know what I think is funny? Unless they really deserve it. What? No, that Joker, he wants to shake hands. And then he electrocutes him. Well, that's because that's what he, he's, he's trying to trick you into getting shocked by his joy buzzer. Just like in the original Batman movie we watched the other day. Remember where he set the guy on fire and he's like, no, I'm glad you're dead. No, I mean the way he gets electrocuted. I mean, that's a little bit too much electricity, sort of. Well, that comes from the comic books and the movies, son. I mean, he's... I guess he's probably got it hooked up to an independent power supply under his coat. Which, at this point, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there saying, Man, he is really overthinking a Lego game. But, you know, he's, he's probably got, like, a, a little bat... A, a little, like, maybe a 9-volt battery plugged, uh, plugged up behind his coat there with uh, a wire running to... Uh, to that uh, joy buzzer with maybe like a little ground in his shoe or some shit. Uh, there, I did it again. Sorry, some crap. Oh, shoot. Here comes Lex Luthor. Call me crazy, but I never saw Gene Hackman driving one of those around in the movies. Did you? No, I did not. No. Maybe the movies would have been better if he'd been doing that instead of like, you know, trying to pull off real estate scams. I mean, come on. The movies uh... are classic, but, you know, they kind of made a joke out of Lex Luthor. Oh, yeah. I remember this part. Okay. Uh, oh, we gotta hide behind the things and trick him into shooting them with his... Yeah. D whatever Majiga fire gun or whatever the heck it's called. Alright, well... Let's just call it the Deconstructor. Oh, uh, okay. We'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, that might be what it's called. I don't know. I'm old. I don't have that kind of attention span anymore. Yeah, that works. Okay, so let's build this... Alright. Looks like a job for Robin. Nothing ever looks like a job for Robin. What are you talking about? He's Robin. No, the oh, platform we're building. Okay, I, I get what you say. I get what you say. Alright, build, 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 build. Look, you're a hamster! Ride that wheel, hamster, ride that wheel! <laughs> Alright, let's shoot him. Alright, I'm gonna distract the bad guys, and you shoot Lex Luthor, okay? Uh, sounds good. Alright. Fry him, eight. There you go. There you go. Alright, so... One down, four to go. No, three to go. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Up oh, some bad guys. I'm gonna crush them. Fight, fight, fight. Gotta get back. Uh, you're going the wrong way, Eight. I'll take care of the little guys. You can take care of him. I got you. Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. Two more to go. All right. Oh, 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 more bad guys. I shall take care of this. I shall stomp them with my totally not Hulk, Hulk fist. There we go. Hulk fist. Stop running away. He doesn't like it when you hurt him, Eighth. <laughs> I know. He should just stand still then. Pow! Killed him all in one blow! Alright. What happened? Oh, I got killed. Yep, yeah, you're gonna have to get back in there. There you go. Alright. You got one left. Get him, get him, get him. You almost got him. Oh, he jumped away. I just, come on, come on, I come just hate this is how slow, this is how fast you get to go. Yeah, I wish you could aim it a little faster, because his health bar goes back up when he's running from you. Oh, you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right. He's down for the count. 
Come on. Come on. I'm dizzy. Oh. Oh. Him fall down, go boom. And now I shall punch his glass head. Oh. Now I should throw him like Hulk would. S such violence in children's gaming these days. <laughs> Oh yeah, put the two of them in an ambulance together. That's real smart. Alright, so I think the last trophy we're missing is that one where you have to drive all the mini kits, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're not going to show all of them. I'm just going to... Let's go ahead and get this done, and uh, when we go back to edit it, I'm going to post it. I'm going to cut all those out so it won't show, you know, 15 minutes of you driving around in a bunch of little mini vehicles, okay? Is that cool with you? Yeah, that's cool. Alright, alright. So, here you are with your little mini biplane thing. Two-Face truck. That's Two-Face's truck? How can you tell? Oh, half of it's white and half of it's gray. Okay. How clever. It's kind of obvious. So... Yeah, sounds good. I'm gonna ride a iceberg. Mr. Freeze's boat vehicle is an iceberg. That's that's kind of funny. Yeah, like I'm going to wreck the Titanic again or something. Oh, yeah, sure. You know, that would be a... F oh, wait, wait. Ah-ha! There it is. Platinum achieved. Platinum achieved. All right, well, we've done that, so let's just have some fun, shall we? Sounds good. All right. All right, you go jump off that building, and I'm going to be Superman. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. The penguin jumping off of Wayne Tower. Look at me fly. You gotta love that music, man. I don't care what they say. This new Superman movie that's coming out next summer could be the greatest thing ever. But I would not want to be in that composer's shoes right now. I would not want to be the guy that has to make new music for a Superman movie because... When you hear that John Williams score, as kind of cheesy and kiddy as those movies are when you go back and watch them now, that music just screams Superman. I can't think of any other music that would feel like a Superman movie except for that music. And I understand why they wouldn't use it, but come on. It, it's one of the best scores I think John Williams ever did. And uh, that's why this is one of my favorite aspects of this game. You know, screw playing the levels. You know, screw going around trying to find all this extra stuff. I'm happy just flying around like this. Because let me tell you something else, guys. You've seen the quality of most Superman video games over the course of history. You know, not even getting into that piece of crap for the N64. I mean, just look at the game that came out for uh, PS2 and Xbox 360 back in 2006. There, this is the only game that I've ever played where you can fly around the city as Superman and it really has the feeling of flying around the city as Superman. Uh, you, you, once you jump up in the air and start flying, you double hit X and you, and you hear the sonic boom of him taking off and you're just zipping around, flying through gaps and uh, like watch this, I'm going to fly right through here. Here we go. Shoo! You can't do that in any other game where you've played as Superman. It's, it's, it's very accurate, it's very easy to control. It just kicks a lot of butt, and I just realized I've been talking for a long time, and Ethan hasn't got to say nothing. What do you have to add, Ethan? Um, you know what I think is funny about the penguin in this game? What's that? That he holds out his umbrella, and he just floats like, um, what's her name for that one movie? You mean Mary Poppins? Yeah. Oh, you so you're saying the penguin looks like Mary Poppins? No, when. He's floating with his umbrella wide open. Oh, well, I wouldn't expect you to remember uh, Mary Poppins, son. Uh, I'm sure you're, you're probably more familiar with the new version, uh, Nanny McPhee. And, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, that there is still a lot of the old Lego-style humor to these games, but it, uh, some of it just has a different feel to it because they now have spoken lines and stuff. Of course, when you're just running around in the open world like this, uh, you don't really hear a whole lot of that except for people screaming for help and whatnot. But uh, I, I imagine this is kind of what it's going to feel like to play that 
new game they've got coming, that open world game they've got coming out for the Wii U. That, that kind of go anywhere, do anything, Grand Theft Auto style sandbox world. And uh, there's a lot of stuff to do in this uh, in this area of the game. Uh, you know, there's three different islands to it, and every one of them has stuff to look for, different little mini missions to do. And I'll tell you, the hardest ones to do are those helicopter races. Yeah. You have to buy these helicopters, and you f first you have to find them, then you have the money to buy them, and then when you buy them, there's these floating Stargate from Buck Rogers looking things floating in the air, and you have to uh, pilot the helicopter through all the gates within a certain time limit and the controls to it are kind of wonky because you have you have to use the cursor that's on the screen to tell the uh, the helicopter where to go as you can see with me flying with Superman it's kind of similar to that but you've got you know the, having to use a cursor like that to control pitch and yaw with a helicopter not the easiest thing in the world so that's pro those little mini races are probably the most uh, frustrating aspect of this whole game don't you think yeah, and what's very funny is that um, Superman, when he goes straight down, his head goes straight into the concrete. Yeah, I think I'll do that here in a second. We'll uh, we'll show him what happens when uh, Superman forgets to put the brakes on, but not as of yet because I'm having too much fun flying around and listening to that music. Hey, you know what sucks? When you're flying the helicopters, it, when you push up to raise altitude, it's like a few seconds late. It actually does. Yeah, I noticed that too. There's a delay. Like if, if you're hovering, you're not moving forward or whatnot, and you want to go up, you move the cursor up, and then there's like a two or three second delay, and then it reacts to it. So I, there's still, you know, your typical Lego game glitches can be found in here from time to time. We found guys floating in midair. There's been instances where one of the characters just froze and stopped moving. And you know, we're playing multiplayer, you know, you know, two-player co-op, and I'm not able to move. I'm stuck in mid-jump as Batman while Eighth is running around doing stuff. We'd have to quit out of the game and come back in to fix it. But you know, it's not enough to where it really breaks the game. It just always seems to happen at the worst moment. There seems to be a bit of a glitch with it uh, wanting to uh, lock up at random too so I don't know if that's a PS3 thing but other Lego games have done that too alright 8 here we go I'm gonna do a half gainer right into the concrete you ready yeah. alright here we go goodbye cruel world ah crap I got stuck in the storm drain yeah, we'll, we'll try it again here we go and here we go here we go here we go oh shit oh. 